adult light 5G wearable sleeping bag. Hope this kid overheats in this. Dude, I feel like a Teletubby. It looks comfortable. Imagine this guy just shows up in your nightmares. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> What's up, you bunch of saucy, silly billy billies? Oh, no, I'm not proud of that one. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Dope or Nope, the channel in which we rate products dope or no, nope. or we invite our best friends to the dumpster. To the show. Michael, jump in. Guys, today, <laughs> today we're being joined by special guest Tanner Momadol <laughs> and his guest. sidekick, Michael <laughs> Telemontes. So what's it like to be on Dope or Nope for the first time? <laughs> Imagine drinking water, but instead of water, it's cyanide. No, I'm just kidding, I love it. Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> today, we're looking at 10 products that'll turn camping into glamping. <laughs> hey, we've done this once before. I hope you guys liked it the last time. We uh, did? Yeah, we're gonna link it at the end of the Video, so make sure you watch that one if you haven't. We did? Remember we got the RV? The RV? We yeah, rented an RV, threw it in the red base warehouse. Are you sure? Oh, he's pulling my leg. There's no way. It's right it. there! <laughs> Info card! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's, he's got I was like, I really leg. can't. <laughs> okay, so first product. John Hen Campfire Tool Pocket Bellows Build Fire. Okay, literally a first line. No idea what this is. Yeah. What, this what is, is a bellow? I've, I've heard that word before. Bellows, like a, bell like a flame bellows. Blasting. I fell. He scared himself. Uh, outdoor gear collapsible fire tool. So it's a fire tool. So it's a long stick that I think you. <laughs> Is he sucking the, the heat out or what? Oh, he's blowing, oh, he's blowing the flame. To ignite the yeah, flame. but you don't have to get your face in the flame. It looks like he's drinking it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This has got to be the creator of the product because I don't think anyone's hiring this guy as a model. Like <laughs> <laughs> That or it's like, oh, the model's not available. Call grandpa. Call, call grandpa. <laughs> That's always a free. Yeah. The best camping idea most people don't carry. The telescope design allows close. Close? What? It allows close interaction. Close and close are spelled the same? Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Add the cart. Okay, so this puppy. Oh, we got two in here. You got two puppies in there? So what? You just blow it. I think you extend you, it, right? No, you out. blow it out. You blow it and it shoots out. That's not true. Then you extend it and then you. No, no, try it. it. You, you try it. <laughs> You looked for a second, you were like... <laughs> yeah, because your body bullshit. didn't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still look that quick. I, I got you, dog. I'm okay. gonna poke eyes out with these things. Let's go test it on my mixtape right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the wizarding world of Michael and Tanner Test Products. Welcome to Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Today, <laughs> this is about as far as these go. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this fire, and then we're gonna see if this actually helps. This is like... It's, it's supposed to help... It's gonna burn my face off either way. It's supposed to help the fire keep going. So, once it's kind of like already igniting, you can just keep it up. Catch flame. Oh, see, with me blowing air at the cardboard, it's making it push the flame onto the logs. We got a full fire going here, everybody. Whoa! We oh, in this! Oh. High five! Look at that, guys! High five does fire! <laughs> to be honest, I'm gonna say this is a nope. This is pretty dumb. It's pretty cool, like, to play with your friends if you're like, Star Wars, bam, bam, bam. But if you're trying to blow out fires, flat out, no. Stupid. Queez, Queezenar, uh, <laughs> Queezenar. CP30, <laughs> 600, Alfrescomore. What the? Alfrescomore? Alfrescomore. Give up. Portable outdoor pizza oven. <laughs> I thought I was gonna whisper the word. <laughs> we got, oh, it's got two trays. One I'm gonna be pan. perfectly honest with you. Anyone else watching that show Chef right now on Netflix with uh, John Favreau? In the show, this filmmaker has this like literal pizza oven in their house. And yeah, I'm gonna bring it back home. Amanda really wants one. <laughs> a pizza oven? Yeah. Why doesn't she just use her oven? Because it's not a pizza oven. Do you know what a pizza oven is? <laughs> well, yeah, different. It's an oven, but this one's specifically for pizza. I don't think this is actually what she wants because like a pizza oven is like a wood burning oven. A warming tray keeps your finished pieces hot while you cook more. Ooh. That looks oh. like it was Ooh. still cooking. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look! It oh. is wood burning! It's got a and it's got stone! Oh. Wow, none of these guys look like they go to camp out. This is legitimate! And let's add, add two! Add two! Alright, fellas. Time, time to make it a pizza. to make it a pizza. Because we're gonna cook it in the oven. No, no, no. <laughs> Throw it up in the air. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, natural. Hey, can you get some of these ready for me? Can you want to open these packages? Sue chef. Like, really? You're gonna try and make that into something now? Eat I don't that, think anyone's no. gonna eat it. This is hard to watch. <laughs> and now it's suddenly really clear why Tanner eats out for every meal. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! What's up, Emerald? You just splattered. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till I move my hand. <laughs> 
Now here's a trick that most people don't do with their pizzas. You gotta put the cheese over the pepperoni. Melt it so it's hidden, and then you get a little nice surprise at the end goals. All right, All right so let's put it in the oven. Look at it, this is our first <laughs> final product. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in the uh, oven and we'll see you guys back in a quick jiffy. All right, we got the pizza. Here it is, it's we all got ready the to pizza go. Oven. We got the pizza oven right here. We're gonna send this baby down the hatch right in here and it's gonna cook for about 15 to 20 minutes it says. Can't be any worse coming out than it is going in, am I right? All right, movie magic. We'll see you back in. All right, friends, the pizza is ready. Uh, bon appetit. So we got, it comes with this handy dandy little tray. All right, what you gonna do is you guys wanna put this little guy right in there, get a tight shot of that Noah and bada bing bada boom. Uh, wow, it actually came out looking pretty good. Pizza, yo. We're cooks, look at us. Yeah, we did it, first try. You wanna take a bite of this pizza, Tim, man? Do we have a scroller roller? Yeah, we do. You're oh. gonna use a butter knife? <laughs> That's what we have, dude. Ooh, the gooey cheese just hit the bottom. Let's take a look at the bottom. Actually not burnt, it actually looks good. It's just impossible to get off because of the way food be like. All right, I'll take a small bite from this little piece. I mean, nah. Yeah, I think that the, the Cuisinart outdoor pizza oven, I think it's lit. I, I think we are just we the just, worst. I'm gonna rephrase that for you. Tanner is the worst at cooking because you saw what he did to that poor pizza dough. It was pressed in, it got kind of burnt, it got stuck on there. So I'm gonna say the product itself pie. is good to go. The actual pizza, it's a little, it, it's, a, it's a no. Sometimes you try cooking with people who aren't Italian. Next See product. you later, next product. All right guys, this next product is a like to buy and it is a crazy one. It's a crazy one. But you, it's a real one. Crazy one and a real one. You pretty much can buy a cast spell. You, you can cast a spell on yourself. It'll allow you to become Wrong. invisible. You cannot cast a spell on yourself. You can purchase a spell for $6 that an ancient genie will <laughs> cast on you. And this will allow you to go invisible. What we want to do, Michael, is what? We want to unbox and review. Whoa. <laughs> Had to give it to him, dude. We want to unbox and check out and review 10 yeah. illusion products that you'll never be able to figure out. That's right. Yeah. It's going to trick your ojos. Yeah, so That's if you eyes, want right? us to buy this spell to see if we will actually become invisible, which I'm going to be honest, I've seen some reviews on this stuff. We might become invisible. It's pretty crazy. And if not, we just wasted $6 If on I can become nothing. invisible, dude, life made. Just so. to like be in the presence of people, but not be seen. Wow. Is your life unmade right now? It's like 80% content. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm only 26, so I still have like a lot to fulfill, you know? Yeah, Since we're gonna be coming invisible and Michael's 26, we're 26. gonna do 125,000 likes. <laughs> Has nothing to do with 26, I lied to you guys. And then comment down below, Invisiboys. Or you can comment down below, Invisibooties. Is I just booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's already what I have. Hey Michael, I think you did a fantastic job on your first like to buy on Dope or No. Let's give him a round of applause. You suck! Glow in the dark toilet paper! This will help you make sure you got the good stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the dark. It'll make sure you got all the Cause lights. that part won't glow. <laughs> That's how oh. you'll know you're like clear to go. Yeah, clear to go, thing will glow. no you'll glow. Like, yeah. No glow, clear to go. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you're clear to glow. No yeah. glow, you've already gone. <laughs> already gone. <laughs> now you'll no longer struggle to relieve yourself during those half awake bathroom visits in the middle of the night with this glow in the dark toilet paper. Functional and fun, you'll be getting a complete wipe when the toilet paper stops glowing. Ew, see I was right. <laughs> Nasty, and you know what's crazy? Everyone's had to go in the woods and squat one out. Everybody's done that. You've never, you never squatted in the woods? Nope. You've never camped then? Maybe when I was a kid, like when I was little and I can't remember. So you have? I can't remember. I don't have memory of it. Okay, it, then you've never camped. Admit it. You never pooped admit outside. Admit it. You've never pooped outside. I can't admit it because I can't, I, don't, I have no memory. It could have happened in my lifetime, but I could have been just a little kid, you know, my mom. One time one of my, in the woods. one of my childhood friends, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna release his or her name. Uh, my friend was over and my mom is like, a, you know, a clean freak. She's like, ne doesn't want anyone in the house with shoes or anything like that. We were a little dirty because we've been playing outside. I don't know, we're like six, right? And my friend like bangs on the window. He's like, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. And my mom's like, go outside. But she was like, oh, he has to go pee. And, and then he looks at us and he's like, I don't have to go pee though. I have to go poop. And we're like, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Literally popped a squat, pooped on our side yard. My dad was so upset. He's like, I gotta clean up this crap. <laughs> Does that make me a little evil? Just a little. I would have done it. But so you're like six it. years old. You're like, hey, that's what mom said. If you're gonna do it, do it, you're right. If it was in the dark, be wiping with this. Add two cards. Oh, okay. Uh, glow in the dark over 40 toilet paper. You're so old, it's hard enough to make your way to the bathroom at night, let alone find the toilet paper when you get there. Now there's help. Over 40 glow in the dark toilet paper. It's like night light for the bathroom for those who are now truly over the hill. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think anybody going to- I do have like limited vision in the dark. Don't we all? No, no like comparatively speaking to a normal human being. Like Amanda can just go walk through the dark and just navigate a labyrinth and I will like walk into the wall 
before I even get oh, into yeah, the dark. Do <laughs> so you consider Amanda a normal human being? Maybe she has super, super sight. Maybe she has superpowers. Yeah. Okay, let's turn off the lights and let's get a flashlight to see how well this glows. Oh, it oh, does working. Work. Oh yeah, you kind of see that, right? Yeah. Wow, it's really not glowing though. You have to like really, no. It glows, but it's like really, it's really difficult. Faint, though. I see nothing. I don't know. That will not show up in the dark for me. <clears throat> this looks like you're going to miss the toilet paper and get your hand. I mean, like you can, no, no, no. You, you can, can tell. still feel my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just digging in your butt with your hand like, is that toilet paper? <laughs> it's also not like pitch black in here either. So I'm sure it'd probably show a little bit more if we were like in the woods. Maybe. 100 acres so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm gonna have to know. say it's a note because it's really not glowing as much as you it is it would need to glow. And also, what are the implications of putting glow stuff in your butt? I mean, does your butt glow? It might after this. <laughs> Next product! New official, official NFL Steelers Barbecue Six Piece Multi Tool BBQ Grill and Camping Gift. So this is pretty much a what are those knives called? Swiss Army knife. Swiss yeah, Army. Knife. It's like Army a Swiss knife. Army knife, but for like SpongeBob SquarePants. That's an actual brand, though. You it's know? like saying Kleenex. Kleenex is a brand. It's not a <laughs> we product. both looked at them. We're like, <laughs> let's test it. I say we take this product outside and we put it near a fire and we'll cook some steak. Yeah. At the cart. <laughs> Just lost a leg. Whoa, is that a baster? Yeah. No, it's like what you rub the sauce on with. <laughs> I was trying to hit oh. that on your hands. That was a quick reaction. That's right, brother. <laughs> he did like four moves by the time I got over there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show off all these things. We got, boom, pudding spoon. It kind of like retracts back like. That's cool. Quickly. Let's take a look at the uh, spatula. This is what SpongeBob be using. This is hand to spatula size right there. Pretty tiny. You're not flipping much. What do you mean? It. Don't you eat robin eggs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. To me. <laughs> all right, let's go check it out. Yeah, what's up? It's Chef Boy R T. Followed here with Michael. Hey, there you go. Hey. And we're gonna be cooking up some, this Dang is a steaks. sweet meat. And, and some, some veggie kebab. Some veggie tails as well. So, <laughs> veggie tails this is how I put it. Ooh, you, let's hear it again. That was, yeah, try with that. For the kids at home. Nice. That was brother. fantastic. One down. All right, step two, get a kebab. Step two, get a kebab. We're gonna spice it up a little bit for you guys. Oh yeah, give me some sauce. Oh, butter, butter, I can do that. Butter, yo. All right, here we go. Boom, absolutely. Boom. <laughs> We're just gonna mix it all. This is how cooks do it in real life, guys. We're chefing it up. Chefing it up, Chef Tanner, Chef Michael. This is so hard to use the switch between them. Cause look at how messy they already all are. And it's just like, I'm flipping between these things. Maybe this isn't practical. Dang, this is looking pretty good in my opinion. I know. Look at, it's just, this is not effective. Yeah, look I've at used all. all of these and my hands are disgusting. Look at his wrist. <laughs> all right, we got, Taste his, it. we got a zucchini weenie. Mark, yeah, that's good. That's good. A lot of mandarin sauce, but it's good. It's good though. All right, I'm gonna bite this butt. You don't look impressed. It's not good. Weak. That's a no-go? No-go. All right, I'm gonna trust Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's evil. To be honest, I mean, just look at this guy's poor hand. Like, bo both of his hands. I would click out if I was you guys looking at this picture. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a hardcore nope. I'm gonna say our recipe probably is a dope, but for the product itself, looking like a nope, Bob. Next product. Yo, we got Icy Breezy. Cooler chill package. No battery. Direct power unit, ultimate stationary package. So what is this? It's like an air conditioned cooler? Yes, sir. You take it on vacation just like these fine ladies right here, right? You put the good I goods wouldn't... right inside the it's ice just right there. air conditioner? And then bada bing bada boom on top, you're like, oh, it's so hot on this little pontoon boat. Turn up the AC, Vivian. <laughs> you got it, Barbara. Woo! <laughs> I love the live editing here. I feel like this, this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why is this $290? It's know. a portable it's air conditioner. So. I love my ice chest. I have taken it out several times and get ooze and ah. And everyone has been impressed with how cold the air feels. Plus, it keeps the beer cold. That's the adult drinks, kids. I recommend it to anyone who <laughs> likes hanging out outdoors, but can't stand the summer heat. That was such a powerful flex. Thank you, Edward. He literally says, everyone has been impressed with how cool... Everyone. He's like bragging about having friends around him. Yeah, he is. And then he brags about going out. This is a Tinder profile. It's an Amazon Tinder profile. I don't I did you, him. Edward. Can we talk about this? <laughs> they said, ineffective car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Let's add this baby to cart and use some AC. Hey, what's up guys? Back here with the cooler. This is what it looks like. Isn't she a beaut? She's got an exhaust pipe. This is what keeps the kids away and keeps it loud. And then this is where you keep <laughs> all the goodies. Tries to open it, can't <laughs> figure it out. Uh, uh. Oh, sick. Honestly, yeah. Gonna, no, Dude, you gotta wait. It's not cold enough yet. That's pretty cold. <laughs> the way this works is it runs strictly through this to power it. So this is for your car's power. Um, what is that power outlet called? Oh! <laughs> 
All right, so we have to plug this into the car, run the car, and then you'll get to see it actually like perform. So off to the car. Plugged into this car. Who's driving? Comment down below if you know what that's from. It's plugged in and it's ready to go. Luckily, uh, Noah has a port in her car that we can plug it into. We don't have to run the car uh, to make it work for a short amount of time. So uh, you turn it on like he did via this dial. Oh. And it blows out the cool oh. air. It also has vents on the back of this. So if you want to leave it plugged in here, you can just open these vents up and it'll blow out. But he's got Dude, it that's naturally so doing that. Cool. Yeah, so it pretty much uses the coolness of the ice and the drinks and stuff below. And it pretty much takes the vent and pushes it through that way. And that actually feels amazing. <laughs> Yo. And then you just fold it up like that. You pop the Zamboni open and you get a cold beverage. So it's literally just pulling icy air out. Is yeah, that all? That's all it's doing. Sometimes you gotta play ball. I rate this kid a nope. <laughs> the product, it works. Dope. It just needs power and it needs power from a car. So why don't you just sit in your car with an air conditioner? Hard to beat that logic, but it works. So I'll say dope. Night tech gear, shoe lights for trail running, camping and mountain biking, patented shoe light. Ah, okay. So this is when you're going poop in the woods. You put on your shoe flashlights and then you wipe with the glow in dark. Is this no, you can always put your see? shoes on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you just on backwards and you look where you're pooping. I don't understand what 360 visibility means when like there's just darkness behind it's them. It's 180. <laughs> yeah, but where is that light source coming from that's hitting me in the bag? Is that the moon? Hey, maybe he does have 360 degrees of visibility as long as you're always facing away from the moon. I, I see a potential problem with this. What is that potential problem? That potential problem is the fact that when you're walking, your feet move a lot, just a lot. I would say 100% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> you have to think about that. <laughs> but I mean like, have you ever tried to look at something when someone's just doing this with a flashlight? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. You're just like, what? You're I like, can't. Still. <laughs> it's like, on the most mobile part of your body. Unless you start using them like skis. Just... Yeah, exactly. Add to cart. Kobe. <laughs> Got him. Wait, wait, wait. Look at the side. Look at the side. What does that degree say? 270 visibility. <gasps> You well, in, to me. No, you're in the right. picture, it says 270 and then it says 360. They're just implying that you're able to turn around. What if you stand, can I borrow oh, my shoes? You put your feet wide. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say, what if you put your feet like that? Then you do have 360. Can we kill the lights? Oh, those are some nice shoes. Oh, Thanks, I dog. That. Those are new, huh? No. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's kind of awkward. Well, I think it's supposed to go on your laces. No, yeah, this, is, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. I'm already upset by it. Cause the, the angle is not wide. As you can see on the wall, it's just a super spot right here you can see it's very spotted right behind me. Like, why is it so spotted? It should, if it's 270 degrees, my face should be lit right now, but it's not. Mm. The issue with this is when I was walking, my foot went down while my other foot light. was going up. That's how walking so works. Like right? Yeah, exactly. So I was doing this and it was just like, just. <laughs> I'm over. I think that's a no. Next product. What? the heck? Adult light 5G wearable sleeping bag. So it comes with 5G LTE. Why well, can you see that? This is confusing. How is that a sleeping bag? <laughs> How is that a face? Is that real? Yeah, that's real. What's that? Just a woman. This looks nice like a mannequin. Her, dude. No, she look, that's no, like a perfect it? face. It doesn't look at all like a mannequin. She looks like a mannequin. Look at those eyes. She looks pretty that looks real like a, to me. Did you just say that's a perfect face? Like in terms of like, <laughs> like it looks like, it looks so <laughs> real to me. It's uncanny. That's an uncanny that face? face. Like I don't see anything wrong with her face, but it's it's not perfect. I'm just saying her eyes look really creepy. The, her eyes are What, you just said she was perfect. I said she looks uncanny. No, like it looks didn't. too perfect. You it said looks, perfect. That's like a perfect face. You guys, her Holy. face isn't even the center of this product review. It's the sleeping bag, brother. The bag's all right, but look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and add to cart. Now let's take a look. Look at this, the hardest T-pose of all time I've ever seen. Um, it's for camping, sports. I don't know why it would be for sports. Wow, this looks, feel this. Oh, that's not soft. you. <clears throat> Feels like a cloud. Feels like a cloud. So these are the leggy boys. Who, who's it sized for? Tanner or Michael? Gonna be me. Tanner. Two wildly different sizes. Just so, get in the clothes This already. has been the longest yeah. journey for <laughs> we you We literally said the same thing. Just get in the it. clothes already. <laughs> Hope this kid overheats in this. Dude, I feel like a Teletubby. So there's a uh, bit, bit of an issue with this bag here and it's the fact that a sleeping bag it has one unique thing that makes it a sleeping bag and why it's functional pillow right it's the fact that all of your limbs are together and all of your body heat is in the same place so it's warming up everything when you separate your legs you separate your arms you separate your fingers and gloves and stuff like that it's just not as effective at keeping you warm first buddy this is just science you look frumpy What'd you say to me? I kind of feel cool though. It looks comfortable. Imagine this guy just shows up in your nightmares. You just like. 
<laughs> Honestly though, it's pretty warm. Let me try to lay down Tess. Wow, this is nice. Honestly, it doesn't really add any like pillow action. <laughs> He's not even no angels. <laughs> I love this. I made this a dope. You don't get a choice because you didn't wear it. I you say don't get no. a choice because you don't have uh, an opinion. I was gonna say dope. I'd rather have an actual sleeping bag. All right, we got a great plate, food, beverage, plate, multicolor, red, green, blue, yellow, 12 count. All right, so this is what the product's right here. Pretty much the idea is you can put your drink right in the middle of it, <laughs> just like this. So that way you can have all your components in one spot. Look at this guy, he's got a cupcake, he's got a hot dog. Oh, so it's uh, like for carrying cabbage purposes. Cabbage salad. Can we address that hot dogs are kind of just like meat cupcakes? No. <laughs> kind they of are. are though. They are. What? How is it? How? I'm not saying that. Because the muffin. You had a bun and it's just a meat it's cupcake. It's just a meat cupcake. The toppings are the toppings. The hot dog is the frosting. And then the bun is the breading. It's literally just a muffin. Are you overheating in that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making too much sense in this straight jacket. <laughs> also, shout out to this uh, company because they not only sent us the plates, but they also sent us Food. cups uh -oh. as well. Because he's a fan of Dope Up. So thank you, Great Plates. Go for no. Here's what I'm thinking about this thing. Okay. What you thinking about, dog? It, it immediately looks like a. Uh, you know, like you're gonna eat chips and salsa, right? And the chips and the salsa and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Like but in reality, like I kind of made fun of it a little bit, but now that I'm thinking about it, if you're walking around and you don't have a place to sit, this is great yeah. because all your food goes here. That's what I'm saying. And you don't have to worry about your You don't club. have to be like, how do you eat you when you- rotate. How do you eat? You have to put down your drink. All right, test one. Where's my hot dog? Right here. <laughs> we still got it all in. Okay, so the idea here is that let's say I don't have anywhere to put my drink. You know, instead of doing this and going, yeah, I'm hungry. I don't want to put down my drink. I don't, is a rabbit gonna get it? A rabbit. Guys, this is perfect. I can put my gum on the this. side. Did you see Aww. a rabbit? Save my gum for later. Michael, stop. You nasty. I eat my burritos. To be honest, it's really great to hold it like this too. Yeah. Be, like no one's gonna take this. A group. Oh my gosh. I figured out the best life hack for this. You put, you fill this cup with milk, right? Cookies. No, cereal. All around the sides of this. You take the cup, you pour the milk in a circle, put it down, eat, and then when you run out of milk and you need more, you take the cup, you pour milk. You always have the perfect amount of milk for your cereal. That's I'm, brilliant. I'm intrigued. That's brilliant. It's a cereal moat. I'm gonna say this is actually pretty useful. There's three things in life I like. I'm Cheetos, gonna say it's a joke. Soda, plate. Nope. <laughs> Just <Dope>. interrupting. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to I'm end the, the dope. Next product. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Stan's Sport Folding Camp Stove Toaster. What? I don't get it. It just toasts your bread. You like put this on a oh on a camp stove. You just put this oh oh. Am I right, guys? We all got it at the same uh, time. Yeah. Just use a regular toaster. <laughs> You're camping, Michael. It looks at a sleeping bag. Just sleep in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Michael just defeats the whole video. Okay, so you put this on top of a stove and all the flames go up and they, they they seep that heat through those holes and just toast that bread to perfection instead of what holding it question yeah. no no in no what world questions would you have at a... this time no questions at this time how would you have a no stove? questions at this time is it not the cutest toast you've ever seen though look at it it's like raising its hand while laying back with its feet up what do you not see that that's cute toast you're seriously overheating you <laughs> must be bored you must not have a lot of fun looking at clouds you know like you look at clouds and you're like that is a spaceship going south there a toast. are no clouds <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so many clouds. Literally the clearest guy today. <laughs> you know what it, what? Are you guys blind? You don't see those clouds? It's, oh, now it's a joke. This kid's you know. tripping. Dude, I hate these guys. Quick, get out of the suit. <laughs> Add to cart. Hey guys, guess what? Toaster product here. Now, we got some bread and we're not feeding pigeons today. We're feeding ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, please plug in that Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> what are you? An idiot sandwich. It didn't come with anything to like hang it above the actual flame. It just came with this giant blob right there. So we put it near the fire. We're not gonna go over the fire directly. Also, do not play with fire at home. We're doing this because we are adults. And now you let them toast. This bread's gonna get black. You ever seen toast made like this, kids? Bet, Bet you uh, haven't. Can we also address the amount of soot that's gonna be on this? <laughs> like legit just gonna be covered in black soot. You guys, I'm gonna say this is a big nope. Honestly, bring a toaster. You're already glamping anyway. Next product. Yo, update. We flipped over this last piece of toast. Toasted, look at that. <laughs> that is toast. -a. So you know what I say about my previous answer? Still a nope. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael and Tanner, for joining us in this special episode of Dope or Nope. If you want to click another glamping video right there, click it because it, it's going to make you love your life. And if it doesn't make you love your life, well, then click this video over here. Because it'll make you love your wife. I don't think it'll do that. Oh. Sorry. But it'll get, put a smile on your face, and that's good enough for me. Yeah, it is. See you I'm later. I'm crazy. Peace. Hope to have you back sometime soon. Thank you, Bob. <laughs>